What's popping over? I ain't fight no Bevo for my brother. You see what way I am? Now I'm 154. It was cold in my house, so I had to put on my jacket. You know what I'm saying? Thank you to Montiel. And my brother beat him, and we exchanged some great memories. And I definitely want him to know that uh, this thing game went under, unattached and is definitely in use, you know. Um, it don't matter if you feeling what you feeling. Hey, homeboy, listen, this is me on a regular day. You don't get me, don't get mad at me for being who the I really was at the whole time, a long time ago. Crawford, what the hell Crawford has said? Cause I forgot. Who do you want more? Get Errol Spence, put him aside. Keith Thurman or Jamel Charlo? Charlo. What did you think when we had Jamel Charlo uh, on the last stand and he said, quote, Bud Crawford needs to humble himself, recognize he's the B side, take less money, make sure there's a rematch, and then in the rematch, he can be the A side and he gets the majority split if he wins it, end quote. Jamel Charlo got to understand he's, he's undisputed, he's dead what he's done in the sport of boxing, but he's not on my level, nor Earl Spence's level. And I think that makes him mad and, you know, jealous because, you know, he feel like he he's supposed to be at the top of the echelon, but he's not. Man, listen, Crawford all over the place, dog. Matter of fact, we from Texas making Crawford popular. Shout out to the, Ch the, the Charlotte Twins and Errol Spence for making Crawford noticeable in boxing because the ain't fought in I don't know how long. And I don't know how y'all still got him on pound for pound, but I guess he won some of the disputed titles when he was at 140. But it's a whole other level when you take a notch up. Y'all people don't really understand that because at 140, they don't hit the same as 147. And then once you get to 154, oh, God, who the king? Uh, I never thought about no Benavides. I ain't never thought about it. Yeah, yeah. I, all I do is work out and train. I don't do nothing else in life but just work out and train, you know what I'm saying? And one day y'all guys can sit back and enjoy life. But in the meantime, y'all got to watch me, make my money, do what I do, be entertained by me. Don't don't say shit. Stay in your lane. Don't, don't worry about what I got going on. I'm a happy man. I'm living life. Everything is great. And guess what? I'm going to be coming back to ringside with the Lions real soon. Hey, shout out to my dog, Kane. We finna make this shit happen all over again. And I won't be going exposed too, too, too much, but you best believe that I don't stay off the boxing ring that long. I stay in shape. Yeah. It's been known for my whole career that I don't got to go back and tell y'all because what it is. Yeah, yeah, Crawford just jealous. Crawford jealous because he ain't got no money. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm, and I, and I, and I really feel bad for all the stuff that's happening with Balenciaga. But yes, I am signed with Balenciaga, and we're gonna be working on that. I'm gonna be reevaluating a bunch of things and thinking about a bunch of things, and hopefully that we can come to a conclusion. But at the end of the day, I'm not worried about that either. I'm focused. I'm a boxer, and I love fashion, and I'm into everything, and I'm into. Thank God, I got a world outside of boxing, and I'm excited for what's going on. All right, facts, big facts. Monte, I see you, baby. Hey. One thing I ain't never seen was to try me. Hey. And I ain't never tested positive for no drugs. I ain't never been on no illegal shit. I ain't never had no problems. And you ain't seen me get dropped and all that other shit and, and make myself look all whatever foolish. Because I know y'all just want to talk shit about me, huh? Coach, what happened when you lose? What happened when you get way to the top, Coach? Huh? What happened when you get so far up at the top? What happened? Hey there, going everywhere. But I believe the only thing happens is you you have a you gotta come down. Yeah, it happens. Funny Cam, what's popping, baby? Um, the only thing that happens is in life is when you go all the way to the top and there's no other levels hey, to the top. Me. You gotta find a way to come down. And how do you uh, come down? Yeah. With mistakes in life, or you come down the right way. You learn it, but right. the mistake too. And we learn even when we win. We ain't just sitting over here. I don't get on live because I don't I don't got time to show y'all everything, baby. Too much information for you. <laughs>
<laughs> Too much information for you. Oh, when it was just record everything going on. Anybody else that got something to say? I'm going to read the comments. We reading them together, me and the coach. Hi, coach. Respect, respect. That's Juan okay, Guzman. Okay, okay. That's Juan Guzman. No, Joel, Joan. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm always the one to first expose them. Them fighters, they team up against me when I put in a good old eight, six to eight weeks in camp, and then we go to sleep in the first round. They say, "Damn, that." The way shit, and all of a sudden when he ain't shit in there, that what I am. At the end of the day, I got respect for everybody. Tim to come on to America, cause nobody in the game like a boxing like me. I'm happy y'all see what's going on. January 28th, I'll be fighting real soon. I'll be back in the ring. Y'all see, I don't go on live too often, but I'm here. Go on, tune in and lock in. My brother is amazing. He's a beast. I don't want to hear what y'all gotta say. Stop playing with me. Um, I should be giving y'all one of the most spectacular knockouts from some talking running around he's talking like he he bigger and better because y'all know what my nickname is, right? I think I got a pair of shoes up here. It's always on my shoes. Um, let me see if I got a pair of shoes. Let me see what this guy. Let me see what that says. That says see right here it says Charlotte. Let me see. Lines only now. Well, if you don't know by now, you should know. I missed to keep running your mouth. I don't talk too much shit. I'll just keep the real player locked in and, and stable. Crawford, he's scared of Spence, and he don't want to fight because his check ain't right. He want to try to get to the money. Everybody over here chasing the bag. I hear you. I'm chasing the bag for my family, too, you know, and, and um, the Omaha native. Man, I love Omaha, man. It's a beautiful place. It's real cold over there right now. Ain't nobody you know, the, running outside in the cold. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. You better get your upgraded treadmill that make you feel like you outside because that's not happening around this, this great state of Texas. The great state of Texas. So I'm just gonna let y'all know how I move. Speak on that. I'm the king of 154, so y'all know what y'all wanna say. I'm, I'm all the way Hall of Fame. I got retired today and not even worry about boxing and I'm in your Hall of Fame. Cause ain't nobody ever said the shit I said and then backed it up. You feel me? You can't say what I say and represent what you represent and then can't bag it up. I'm bagging it all up. Shout out to my that created these shits. Savages, they out there. I'm thinking in LA. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, right here is, uh, um, <coughs> uh, I think this is my one of the more fires outfits I didn't put on. But y'all see that shit? I'm wearing that shit now. Mm-hmm. Let's go down the hall. You know, everybody got to go through trials and tribulations in boxing. Uh, I already made it in the game of boxing. And you got to go through things where you listen and you learn. My daughter said, I'm going to go and put this shit down. Man, listen, I'm interested in all of that. Hey, Tony Harrison 3 can happen if he, uh, if he go through Fandora. I don't make the rules in boxing. I just fight. How about Jermel Charlo? Of course, I'll, I'll beat his ass any day. So that means uh, Bud Crawford at 154 and uh, yeah. taking on the undisputed listen, champ. Listen, I said if I can't get the Errol Spence fight, I want to go right in to Jamel Charlie. You know what I mean? But Jamel got all kinds of mandatories, and he already lined up the fight and stuff like that. So, of course, that, that couldn't happen. You know what I mean? So... The main focus was Errol Spence, you know. And Jamal Cholo, you know what I mean, he run his mouth a lot. He be all sensitive and stuff, but he, he, he can fight. He got some skills, you know. We 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 respect him in the ring, but, you know, I believe Errol Spence is a tougher challenge than, than Charlo. And that's just my honest opinion.